Yo, what up, big cat? My Escape Twin here, and I'm here to bring you gameplay and commentary of Borderlands 2. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about an elemental guide. Now, keep in mind that a lot of you guys might already know this because you played the first one, but there are some people out there that never played the first one and are just picking up the second one for a new time and maybe don't fully understand the elements and how they work and how they're effective and, you know, some tips on them. So I'll be going over those today. Just keep in mind if you already know this stuff. Most of this will be pretty general, um, you know, just straightforward facts, and then I'll give you my opinion on them. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, yeah. So, we're going to start off with the fire one. Uh, the fire is uh, supported in all weapon types, which means, uh, you know, RPG, pistol, SMG, assault rifle, sniper, you know, all those. Uh, it's very effective against humans, like flesh, anything flesh or, you know, like those little spider things are very effective on those and some tips I have for you guys for that is just spray all the enemies first I mean yeah you can home in on one enemy at a time but if you just you sit there and you spray them all and you get them all on fire and then you home in to someone they're all gonna be doing damage accumulative so most of them might actually die so you don't even have to waste the bullets on those they might die from the fire damage so that's just something I would definitely keep in mind for me fire is probably I think the most useful especially in the mid in the beginning of the game but later on we'll look at some that I think are definitely essential so after looking at that fire one let's go on to the shock now shock for me I find is very hard to fight in this game maybe some of you guys might not think so but for me I can't really you know find very good shock weapons so like I said shock is supportive of all weapons same thing and is very effective against shields. Now, by shields, I don't mean shielded enemies that have the big shield. I mean, like, anything with the blue bar on top. They eat away at the shield. They just, um, you know, they completely destroy it. And some tips I have for you guys is fire until the sh shield is gone, then switch. Now, sometimes this isn't really 100% useful. Maybe if you have, like, a... You know, if you have like a pistol, then obviously you want to fire until it's gone, then switch. But if you have like an SMG or an assault rifle, then, you know, just keep firing at it and it'll do damage. Plus, the shock has this thing where it can actually freeze up an enemy and, you know, enable them not to be able to move. So, yeah, just keep that one in mind. Alright, so after this one, we're going to go over to... We're going to go over to, um explosive now explosive once again is supported in all weapon types effective against everything okay absolutely everything there's nothing that resists there's nothing that is super effective in it's like it's a neutral it's a neutral um element besides not having one so it gives you just that extra damage so some tips i said um is there's no damage over time it's all at once so make sure when you're firing it's very good on rpgs because it's that extra packing you know extra damage you want just great nothing resist it and just you know it's just all right there you get extra damage from it so great explosive is great personally not one of my favorites but it is great now let's go on to one that I think is definitely essential corrosive now like I said fire is the most useful I think but corrosive is the most essential if you don't have a corrosive weapon in your arsenal yet make sure you have one on reserve if you're not to the point of the game yet when you start fighting you know machines uh... support of all weapon types effective against armor now armor i mean like you know these robot type things anything that has a yellowish greenish name is a armor like a yellowish kind of health bar you get money Wait, <laughs> my tip is to get money kill bitches okay anyway i forgot to put that um uh, like I said, just make sure you are homing in on them. Just fire, fire, fire away. It'll eat them up instantly, okay? I know some people think fire is very good on, you know, the robots. But as it may be decent, nothing, and absolutely nothing beats corrosive damage on that. So keep that in mind, and yeah, that's awesome. Alright, now let's get on to the new one, which is the slag. Now the slag, I found out, is very, you know, it's kind of hard to explain a slag well, I'll just start off with the stats supportive at all weapons effective against everything okay you cover them with slag and then switch with and then switch your weapon now in order to do that I know that might sound a little bit um uh, kind of general like obvious but if 
in order for slag to be effective, you can't keep firing your slag gun at them. You you fire them until they are purple, and as you'll see in some of my uh, you know footage I'm showing you, but until they turn completely purple, not to see purple numbers, but them the enemy themselves are purple. Then you switch weapon to a you know that's when you can use explosive, which is very helpful with that. You know fire anything. It increases the damage you deal plus the um. um the burn damage you succeed over time like if you're using fire against them so slag is basically just like one big uh, you know protein steroid or whatever you want to call it it just it's there to help you you know increase your damage and everything it is it's um it's very helpful especially on bosses if you have you're playing with a party have somebody run a slag weapon they can constantly be slagging while everyone else is shooting okay it's great 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 so for me guys my favorite is obviously the fire it's just it's just great it destroys everything but like I said the most essential 100% you have to have a corrosive weapon by the end of the game there's just no doubt about it and for people that you know have beaten the game you they can tell you like if you don't have a good corrosive weapon it'll you know it's gonna be really hard so that's basically the end of um, you know this I guess elemental guide I know it's pretty general but I just thought I would throw some of that stuff out there make sure you guys if you enjoyed this or thought any of this was helpful give this a like I worked really hard on the template very hard on editing and um, yeah so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more I have tons of new videos just check the pl playlist on my um, channel for Borderlands 2 you can see all of them as well if you're interested in COD and all that other stuff so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later Alright, peace.